joined by John in the kitchen. Uh, what are you making for us today? I'm not doing a tray bake, I'm doing a two tray bake. Ooh. I'm doing yeah. a two tray bake because one I of the things work. I really love is I love crispy skin on chicken. Oh, me too. You love it as well, don't you? I and love the it. Problem is, when you do it as a single tray, what happens? Because we're going to do a veggie bake with the vegetables sit underneath the chicken. What happens? The steam comes around the outside of the from the vegetables, and it leaves the skin doesn't get crispy. Ah. So we're going to do two trays. They both go on the oven at the same time. You leave it. You walk away for 45, 50 minutes. So easy. Come back and dinner's done. Oh, I love that. So, so here we go. This is what we're going to do. We're going to use chicken thighs. Chicken thighs with their bone taken out. So you get lovely chicken thighs. Really simply, some paprika. I'm just going to use paprika and a bit of vegetable oil and salt and pepper. So if I just do paprika in a bowl and a good couple of spoonfuls of paprika in a bowl, um, a good amount of salt, now, the thing about salt is that that does draw out the moisture, which really helps. A little bit of pepper, and then to add, I'm just going to add some oil, some oil. Now, it can be vegetable or olive oil, whatever, but not very much. It's more of a paste mixture. Mix that together. And this, besides this, the, this bowl and your two trays are going to be your only washing up for the whole night. Oh, that's brilliant. Which yeah, just makes it really easy. Take your chicken thighs and literally drop them in with the, the bones are out. So drop them in, all of them in. I know it's not very attractive. I get that but we try with the brown paper and make it look pretty and all that in the green plate. <laughs> try all that sort of stuff. Do you know, with, then... the, with the thighs, I was just going to ask, can you get the butcher to just take out that bone for you? Put in the supermarket. Oh, you can... Supermarket, those. skin on, bone out, just away you go. Done. Oh, brilliant. And then just take that and just mix it like this. You could use chicken legs if you wanted to. And if you didn't want to use paprika, you could use jerk seasoning. Right. Mm. If you wanted to, anything you wanted to, any seasoning you like on the outside. Take the chicken thigh back out and then roll it back into a shape. Oh, it's so simple, isn't it? So it's it? like so this. It doesn't need a long marinade or anything. It's just... No, you could... Just, yeah, you could do up. this the night before if you wanted to, Dermot, or you could just do them, you know, as they are, that's fine. This I'm is so great for me, John, because since I've become a dad, I, I do tray bakes all the time. Yeah. Because, you know, you've a bit more time it's precious. It's quick so you, as well, exactly, yeah. You stick them in and... Like well, a fish tray bake or a chicken tray bake. But, the, but I'm, I, we were talking earlier on off air, I struggle with it. I can't get the skin crispy enough. Now so we here we go. So here's the next trick. Remember, there's just paprika and olive oil on the outside of them. Take a knife. And what you do is you just stab the actual skin Great. a couple of times on the outside. Now, what this does is, as it cooks, it allows the fat to come from underneath the skin. Remember, underneath the skin, you've got a layer of fat. And the problem is, as you cook it, what you want to do is the fat to actually sort of start to melt and then come through the middle of the skin and then start to make the skin crispy. I love rosemary <clears throat> and put rosemary on the bottom. Oh, now, this does two things, really. One is it flavours. The other one, it gives a circulation of air, which allows our chicken to cook all the way through. So you just drop your chicken pieces... That's such a good idea. ..on top it? of the rosemary, like this. It's all seasoned, all done. And what you just said then as well, Dermot, is if you're doing this and something goes wrong, like something happens and the kids are, you know, running half an hour late, just take it out of the oven and then you can put it back in again. It doesn't matter. It's not, you know, it's not absolutely exact timing, so that's fine. So there's our chicken ready to go in the oven. That's it. Done. Then the vegetables. So... The thing about veg, I suppose, is you want to be able to give everybody, a, you know, a little bit of veg here and there. And the easiest way to do it for me as well is to get that sort of flavour of everything together. So I've got tomatoes, peppers, shallots, some chillies, some potatoes. And I'm going to take some potatoes. These have just been cooked a little bit, but you don't need to cook them at all. Drop them into the tray. So we're going to put everything in the tray. I just love how easy this is. Uh -huh. Just bang it in the tray. Everything so goes good on the tray. Well, isn't it? Tastes so good. Really simple. It yeah. tastes all right? Oh, so nice, John. Oh, good. It's like you've been cooking it for days. It's lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's funny, isn't it? Because that's the thing, is that all these flavours. And I think one of the things that we do is when we cook a lot of the time is we move things around too much. We just... What I mean by that is we stir things in the pots. Yeah. And what we've done here is literally just left it in the tray and let it cook. And all those juices just merge together. Mm. You don't have to muck around with it. It doesn't get any better for you stirring it. In fact, it's, it's, it's nowhere near as good. So just take... Look, I've got one and a half peppers here. All the recipes, as you know, are on the app, so that's OK. Yeah. Um, and then you just chop those in any size you want. Let's leave them back big. That's fine. It's just so easy. Because they're going to get smaller anyway, aren't they? They are going to get smaller. Take some tomatoes, cut them into quarters, and I just use sort of, you know, four or five tomatoes. So now if we've got... Two chicken thighs each, we've got enough for four people. Yeah. And if you did ten, you've got enough for five. You know, it's that simple. And by doing the chicken and the vegetables separate, yeah. you can do whatever quantity you want. All I will say with the veg is make sure it's not too highly piled up. That's all. Because? So, 
because otherwise it starts to stew rather than to actually bake oh. and roast, and you don't get that lovely colour. And what you want you is just that want one layer. Yeah, you want some one or, or yeah, but don't stir it so you get that lovely crispy across the top. Across yeah. the top. If you like your food spicy, great. Use a whole chili. If you don't like it spicy, cut your chili down the heart down at the centre, and then take yourself a teaspoon so you don't hurt your hands. And with your teaspoon, start at the, the pointy end. Yeah. And just scrape the white. Oh, that just broke in half, didn't it? That didn't <laughs> then just take that and you just, th those seeds literally just come out and you end up with a chili with well, those like seeds. Well, I like the way you just click off the end as well. And, yeah. and then just chop away the end, so that's done. I look a bit of chili in there because we'd like a bit of a heat. We'll drop some more adan into there. Uh, so we'll get our when potatoes. When you take the chili, it's sorry to interrupt, but when you take the chili, the seeds out of the chili, mm. you still get heat from the chili, right? You still get heat, but the main heat comes from the membrane. <laughs> and it comes from the actual seed itself. Right. So the milder you want it. The other thing to remember about a chilli is, the bigger it is, the less heat it has. Right. Oh. Little chilies are hot, big chilies are usually very mild. Right. And these big chilies, if you want to really test them, all you do is grab the end of it and bite the end and that will actually taste like capsicum. It's not okay. even hot. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a great dad joke. <laughs> yeah. I've been dad for a really long man. time. Trust me. Great, man. Man. <laughs> Tiniest amount of oil. That was like your dad's just doing like. <laughs> dad do amazing. Do your kids like this sort of food as well? Oh uh, yeah. I mean, look for the family. The thing is, that once you put this in front, they can pick the bits out they want yeah. and the bits they don't want. So yeah. Fine. And you've got some garlic bread. I've done some some writer with it. So now you've got this, just mix this whole together like this. So you just sort of toss it in, in the pan. Amazing. And here's my secret here. Ooh, you take yeah. a jar of olives, including its water. Now the reason is, is that olive water is brine. So now I've got seasoning. Right. And I've it's got some, done. That's it, it's done. The water in there now at the same time will mean that that sort of starts to cook. And um, it just steams it all, but it will still get the lovely flavour of the olives. Drop some, some onion, uh, lemons across the top. Where's this gravy coming from at the bottom of my plate? Is that from the That's chicken? That's just the juice from the chicken. Oh, it's lovely. It nice? Those two go straight in the oven. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Like that. And I put the chicken in the bottom and the vegetables at the top. And it goes back to this thing about steaming. We want the vegetables to steam at the top. If you put the vegetables, at the chicken at the top, they'll take the steam from the vegetables. They won't go crispy. So chicken at the bottom, vegetables at the top. 45, 50 minutes. OK? I've done. been doing it completely wrong, John. Well, no, not wrong. I the other way around. There's little tips that as chefs you sort of get to do. And then really, look, this is what we end up with really fast. There's our veg. And our chicken now is literally crispy. And all those sort oh, of lovely bits of, of veg and stuff are there. And then all you need to do is I've got some writer. I've got a nice little plate. Writer, I've just used yogurt, cucumber and some mint. That's easy enough to do. It's so Take simple, that tray. Writer, isn't it? Well, so I nice. never, never make rice. I, I never, I've got to say, I'm, a, I'm quite, when it comes to cooking, I, I like to have fun with my friends and my family. Yeah. And the, the idea of actually slaving over it, it's just too much. There's the juice from the vegetables. We take that, I just, I was going to use my fingers then, realise it's really hot and still bubbling. <laughs> <laughs> Put the chicken across the top, there, and then we just take a nice little spoon of our writer, which is just here. I take, a nice little plush in my watercress, oh, as I call it, like a little plush. A watercress. A sprinkle of parsley. And then, because I like it so much, a little squeeze of lemon across the top. Oh. Ta-da! Oh. Two tray bake. Ba-boom! John, that is brilliant. Well done. Thank you. And delicious as well. Thank you so, so good, much. John. I can eat that Pleasure. every day. Yeah. Happy yeah. Thursday Absolutely. to you all. Thank you, John. Thank you. Uh, for all the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our This Morning Chef, just head to the This Morning app.